Hey, Dale here from the Time Machine, and we're working on the cool VEL bike tonight. And a lot of stuff going on in the shop here in the last couple uh, weeks or so, and get really getting back on this project. Matt's over here working on the, uh, we're going to put a double row chain on the back, and I'm uh, going to work on the motor a little bit tonight, or at least kind of lay out all the parts of the motor. And I described that 36 knucklehead motor as a bike, that I, a, a motor that I found in a lot of pieces in a lot of different places, and I'd like to share that with you. But the bike's coming along pretty good. We've got uh, actually one tank nearly done. I'm mocking up on uh, tonight on the right side the uh, oil tank with the cool oil lines we're putting on it. And uh, we've already got set in place the uh, double ride control. Um, it's going to have a cool look with a low, kind of a low headlight. And over on that table is a lot of ideas that are for this bike, some really cool parts. And uh, so I'm going to try to get this oil line bent tonight and uh, get the uh, vent line set up. The um, bike's coming along really good. It's only been about uh, since Labor Day um, Saturday, I think, is when this bike turned up. That's less than a month ago, and it's really come a long way. Going to uh, be working on the motor later tonight. And uh, let, me let me show you this uh, cool pile of parts over here. You know, they say one man's junk's another man's treasure, and I always believed in that, and that's why I've been saving this gas tank for probably 30 years. It's a 1928 Harley J tank, and although the bottom's rotted, it could probably be fixed, but what we've done is we've robbed some parts from this tank to put on the VEL, fabricated some really cool tanks, John, and God, I can't remember all the other uh, guys that helped make these tanks that have kind of fallen in the museum here, and they know a little bit about bending metal and welding metal, so... The uh, work of four or five guys that made some really cool tanks, which we're going to take a look at here. But parts out of this old 1928 tank will go into the um, tank on the VEL bike. And it's a pretty extremely cool tank. It has a nice profile to it. I've got the left side mocked up tonight. And uh, uh, some pretty cool tricks. We're going to make the shifter run through the tank. Got some really cool nameplates for the side, and the parts that we've taken off the 1928 Harley tank would be the gas cap and the spigot that holds it, and a little deal that holds the fuel shut off. So, some extremely cool parts, extremely cool bike. We're going to go in the museum here in a minute in the old George Swim motorcycle shop. I've got some ex extremely cool old cans that are full of oil and parts that George Swim packed 60 years ago, and. This oil hasn't been dumped out. Nobody's looked at these parts in 60 years. Mm, I got about 12 of these from them, and I'm down to three or four. So we're going to crack one of these open. And these are the internal engine parts for a 1936 knucklehead that have been sealed away for 60 years. So um, let's go in the shop here and open those cans.